my name is Mayhem, and welcome back to another episode on the Vexstone server. Second one I'm recording today. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great time. I am certainly having the greatest time in a while, because I just got my storage system all sorted out, and, well, it's not a storage system. It's just a little ender chest with a bunch of shulkers in them, but I guess it does the deal quite fine. Uh, what are we gonna do today? Oh, oh, things are popping up, popping up all over the place. I don't actually know how to how to describe this without just destroying your brain. Jesus, let me just hop down here, land on here, and open my door, and then we'll see what we got. Okay, so on the inside, you get the robots. You know all of this. You know you get this, but. There's a few things popping up all over the place. First of all, this place. I have worked a bit around it. I have exchanged a bunch of the other materials for my stone. Be being able to see a little bit more of it makes it a bit better. And I've also added these torches all over the place and these stone pillars. Kind of looks like some random cave in which people have put up like hundreds of candles. That's what I've like envisioned here that there's like these little stone spires and people just for some reason put tons of candles on there and that ca you oh you saw me didn't ya yeah come over here how dare you I need to block that spawn come over here I don't want you destroying my yeah stupid thing Jesus you can't just like spawn on here how dare you I don't have anything spawn blocking on hand as well god damn it <sighs> but this is essentially where we are going to be containing the big ass magical artifact uh, maybe I take the torches away I'm not so sure about those yet we'll see how they hold up as soon as we start adding in stuff in the center maybe I even make like more bridges or whatever we will see how it goes okay I have done no work over here because I really only have a limited amount of time and that is 24 hours a day you know if the day had 30 hours a day I would do more work but 24 is all we got so this one I have refined this corridor quite a bit okay I've put in some windows in the in the walls so we can add sugarcane farms later I think I've told you about that idea before and then this room here is a little bit of on the special side it kind of goes around in this circular walkway to the very back of the room and then it kind of goes down in the middle and it leads down into the underground into the into the lower level of this thing okay this facility now there's gonna be a bunch of levels okay the lower level is going to be my industrial area where I have all of my AFK machines and stuff stuff that just produces stuff for me as we speak you know this room is gonna be good this room is gonna be really good I'm telling you okay and then I want to have an additional layer I think on top of everything where I have my personal like living quarters and and, and storage and stuff but I'm not so sure on that right now. Uh, I really just want to get the industrial area going here. And what are we doing? Essentially, we've got a corridor here that goes down a bit more. And then it opens up into this big weird room, okay? Why is this room so weird? Well, it's wonky on all the sides. This room, I don't think it's really symmetrical in any way. It looks like it's almost symmetrical, but not quite. That's what I'm talking about. But we've got this little staircase that comes down here. And then in the center, we've got this obscure little pillar thing, which you kind of have to envision. It's not there yet, you know. But I, I think there's going to be like the water stream here that goes upwards and transports items or something like that. So we could have all of the items that are being produced in this lower, uh, lower area. We could just have them go up in, in the middle of that, you know. But we're going to have corridors on this side and on this side, leading off into a whole bunch of other facilities. But 
this here is going to be what we're going to be working on today, at least. This here is just a 3x3 creeper farm, okay? I don't know if you guys know how mobs work in this game, how they work in detail, but if you don't know everything about mobs, then I'm probably going to teach you a whole bunch of stuff in this episode. So, well, I'm not a pro with redstone, I'm a pro with building and also like design and stuff, but whatever. Uh, there is a bunch of stuff that we need to do. Where's my toolbox? Tool there. I need a bunch of water. Yeah, okay, that's useful. I can just do it right like this, right? What? Okay, uh, like, I don't understand how the new water works. I can't take the water out of where there's a plant. What? Um, okay, so we need water. Got the water. So, mobs are usually two blocks tall in this game. There's a whole bunch of different mobs with different heights, though. So, dependent on what mob it is that you want to farm, you can make a bunch of adaptions in order to maximize the amount of that mob that will spawn in your spawning facility. But, the problem is, you know, it doesn't really make sense to farm zombies only. You know, that's kind of a crappy idea. It doesn't make sense to farm skeletons only. Well, it does, but there's spawners for that sort of stuff, you know? What there's no spawners for is the elusive creeper. My, one of my favorite mobs in the game. And it's actually a great idea to farm, the, farm these things. Because with the gunpowder, which is a very rare resource, actually, you can only get it from creepers and ghasts. With the gunpowder, you can make these fancy little firework rockets here. Now, they, they don't do too much, but combined with an elytra, they let you fly freely through the sky like an airplane, like a bird, okay? So, that is what I'm going for, okay? I want that. That sounds, that sounds great, actually. I want that. You know? And then she went on and she did it. That's how it's going here. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing. I have a funneling system that funnels my mobs. At this point we're not specifying which mobs, but it funnels all the everything that falls down here, it funnels it here. Yeah, I have Death Strider on my boots. My boots are actually the best piece of armor I have. But my god are they good. Okay, so in here we're gonna have a little special segment and how to kill a creeper, okay? How to kill a creeper in an unconventional way that is hopefully gonna work just fine. I'm not quite sure. I haven't figured out all of the details yet about how I want to kill them and stuff like that. For now, I could just have them be funneled like this and we need the killing mechanism before we install anything else of course because as soon as I make it spawnable and we get the creepers well they're gonna collect down here and explode whenever I go near them and that's um, probably not a great idea so this is what we've got going on right now I need to get a few signs just to get a little bit easier water management going because this, this is uh, not the way I intended it. Do I have some wood somewhere? Oh look, I've got visitors again. Hello. Good to see ya. Hey. I'm really not bad at, I'm really not good at killing these. I have to say. I mean, I'm not that scared of them. Because I could just set them on fire. Like that. And then they're just gonna like slowly deteriorate. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That sounds like a great idea. Yes, burn. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm up here to make a bunch of signs. That was what I came here for. That's what I'm gonna take. 16 should be enough. Should actually be more than enough. And I need a magma block. 
a single magma block actually does let's let's use two just to make sure okay ah okay this thing this thing is essential apparently it's working like super amazingly apparently it's already working so much that the creepers are spawning in my home instead oh yeah that's perfect where did you spawn did you spawn over here is that where you were spawning because I can put a bunch of buttons on there if I want to I'll have to keep an eye on that I really need to keep an eye on where the mobs are spawning Jesus okay but there's another one what is this come over here my green dude take the blade yeah you're just green to troll the players aren't you huh there's no biological advantage to being green but if I put a sign on there like this and I put a sign on there like that I've essentially blocked water flow into those tiles and if I put a sign on here and on there and on that one and on that one and then I put more just like this right there I have essentially blocked the water flow which means I can have the water flow come from two other sides I wanna I wanna have it come from here so that it doesn't make a source in a way in the middle and it still funnels like towards the middle you see what's going on this water funnels towards this middle block and then if I put in this magma block it goes on further than that you see that every mob that spawns here will get moved along here I'm shifting now so I'm not I'm sneaking now so I'm so I'm not taking damage but you take damage if you don't sneak right and then the item because of how item mechanics work in this game now just goes into that chute there and I don't even need to specify what like I don't even need to to, to block the creepers in anywhere it, it just works like this you know they can't get in there because they're just not big enough and just not small enough to fit in but yeah that's that's what's going on that's how I'm killing them right if I put a second one right here I could start damaging them a bit earlier at least most of them you know but they will ultimately get damaged and then they will their item will go in there okay and that's where we're essentially going to be picking up that item I think now because we're all the way down at bedrock level which is actually a great idea for making a mob farm because uh, mob Minecraft spawns a lot faster and a lot more reliable at the lower levels of the Y coordinate uh, is that does that even make sense I don't know but essentially because we're here we got to deal with this bedrock here I can't get rid of it it's just there okay so that's gonna be a thing so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a hopper to pick the item up right here so I don't need to funnel it over the bedrock because that would be pretty tricky instead what I could do is I could just have it go down in the hoppers into a into a dispenser that then shoots them upwards I think let's let's check how that works huh all right so I need 11 hoppers and the dispenser comparator what's in my redstone box let's give me that put it down okay we don't have any comparators left um, let me let me collect some stuff right all right I think I may have all of the things completely in my inventory I just need to do some more fabricating and then we should be good to go all right um, one second let me yes okay the dropper we need a dropper and a dropper is easy stuff it's literally just some 
cobble, and then some redstone, and that's it. Gotta drop her. So, we need a comparator. For those, I'm not quite sure how to make them. Like that? Yes, that works. Then we need a regular... A, 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 what's it called? A repeater. Like this. And I guess we also need a bunch of redstone and that's it. For the tech. For how this thing works. Because it's a really simple system. It doesn't require you to do any sort of crazy redstone contraption. Um, yeah. You foul creature. I need to do something about the mob spawning here. This is really... Yeah. You brought your son, huh? You brought your son over to, to go visit Aunt Mayhem. Yeah. But, um... That's not a good idea. You shouldn't bring your children to the mayhem. It's not a good idea. Who even told you about that? So. Ouch. Okay. So, essentially. We have our dropper right there. Okay? And that is the thing that's going to be spitting out the items. Upwards. Okay? Uh, how do we make it spit out items? Well, we could say. Whenever this thing gets an item. Can we have a side that's not obstructed by a by a bedrock? Yeah, we need this side to funnel items in. So we could funnel it out here. Uh, this is gonna be a very indie kind of dropper elevator. And we can put something in like this. Now, sadly, I can't get rid of this bedrock, you know? But I think, don't think I need to do that thing. I really think I can just... Yeah, that's not bad. But now how do I power... This. Well... Does that work? Hell yeah! That seems to work just fine. But uh, as soon as I, like, block it up, it's not going to work, is it? This doesn't power. Uh, maybe a repeater in there can work. Because you see, there's going to be a soul sand block on top of that block. And that means that this block, this block, this block, and this block needs to be, need to be full blocks in order for the item to travel upwards through the soul sand block. So I can't have this block here be redstone dust because it doesn't work. Well, maybe if I make another repeater. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's slow enough for a repeater in that section. Let me just try to make another one. Um, grab these. Make a... that's a comparator. Repeater, like so. Hop right back down. And let's see how this holds up. And I'm in. Mine at this, and put the repeater there. Now, how does this work? Yeah, you see, it just plopped out this side because we didn't have a block here before. But. If I block up all of these, and then I put the items in, they plop out at the top, you see that? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And why are we using a soul sand block? Oh, there's just so many new ways of, of making these things in 1.13, I'm so excited. Oh my god. But, essentially, why are we using soul sand? Well, soul sand, uh, if placed under a water pillar, it creates a w bubble column, essentially, that pushes items upwards super quickly. Well, we can use that to have a super cool item elevator. Uh, I still didn't connect the hoppers, though. Let me, let me get that one going. Like this, just in there, you know? It's really not that hard to connect the hopper line. Once you've got enough iron, you should be good to go. So, like that, like that, and in there, block this, block this, 
So only items can go in there. And no entities. Okay, because they're too tall. Alright. So. Ultimately, whatever I throw in here... Should ultimately end up... Coming out of that, yes! Ah, oh, that is just so good. That is just so good! Hell yeah! By the way, if you're wondering about why my voice sometimes is too loud and sometimes it's too silent, it's because Windows Movie Maker doesn't have a normalized sound volume option. Also, I can't record to multiple tracks and, and, and then added the sound balance. So the sound balance is gonna be wonky every time until I get better software. That's gonna be a thing. But, now, why did I bring kelp? Why did I bring iron bars? Well, this is a nice system, I like it, but it has flaws, okay? And I got no time for flaws here, especially not in a creeper farm. That could go horribly wrong. You need to fix your flaws in, in that regard. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I brought a dirt block to put in place of the soul sand and I'm gonna put a water block right there and then it falls through here into there. Now can I already place kelp on that? Hell yeah! Because what kelp does is when it grows, when it starts occupying a block, instead of having that block just be a flowing downwards water block, it replaces it with a water source. So I could just place all of the water sources manually, or I could just have that kelp in there, grow upwards, and just have it do its kelp thing. I'm using iron bars so that the water doesn't spill outwards because if we're gonna build it like this the water would now move outwards as well and we don't want that ain't nobody got time for spilling water but if I bring it all the way up here this is now a column of water source blocks which means that I can now remove this kelp again and put the soul sand in and that should hell yeah it should now start pushing us upwards okay this is great now this is what our item elevator now looks like of course this room still has to be decorated and, and stuff I'm probably gonna work on that in between episodes as per usual but if we do throw a bunch of kelp down it will make its way shooting upwards through this step. Can we? Hell yeah, there it was. Can you even see it? Can you even see it? Maybe the frame rate is not high enough for you to see it. Oh, sometimes it... Sometimes it gets stuck a little bit. Okay, that's a problem. But not that big of a problem. Uh, I can fix that just by using something else around the outside that has a much better hitbox. Um, I could use glass, I could use trap doors, regular doors. Is there any cool looking door that has like, that like fits in our scheme that kind of is somewhat transparent? Let me do some research. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna use glass. Glass, glass, glass. I made a Wait a minute, I thought I had... So you're saying you didn't even smelt up any sand, huh? This has been sitting here for days and I thought I had a, a crap load of sand, of gla glass now. Oh now I need to wait for the glass, for real? <sighs> Thankfully, I got a bunch of it stashed away somewhere. Oh, look at me. Hell yeah. Now... I want to dye this glass, because dyeing is an essential component of this place. 
Hell yeah. Um, so that's gonna be a thing. I wanna diet, let's say, one of the greys. Probably light grey. Maybe dark grey, depends on how the situation is. I could go with something like green, but there's gonna be enough green in this base. I don't think I should go two more, I should add two more green, you know, because that could kind of make it, make it a little bit too intense, I think, maybe, potentially, I'm not quite sure, let's take the pink shulker box, this thing has dyes in it, and I do have a little bit of light grey dye, but... Let me fabricate something. These 20 inks, these 18 ink sacks here are so hard to get on this server, I have to say. Ah, I would actually buy these from you for, for a few diamonds per stack, actually. That's how hard they are to get. And that, co that coming from me, okay, that's gotta say something on this server. So, light gray, hell yeah, let's make a bunch of light gray. 24 should be enough. Alright, um, so this is what we got. Um, the problem is, it wants to escape. Water wants to live. <laughs> water wants to be free. I, I get it, water, but you're trapped in here. You're trapped. You're part of the mayhem build. You need to stay here. It is of utmost importance. You cannot live. Am I even making sense? Probably not. But I think this could very well work nicely. Now, of course, this creeper farm here is not going to break any records, okay? It was never intended to be the most ridiculous mob farm. I'm going to have a second mob farm and some part of this facility, which is just going to be absolutely ridiculous in terms of output rate. This thing here is just meant to supplement me with the occasional gunpowder to be able to fly around the place freely and not have to worry about conserving it. So yeah, just so I can live a happy and free lifestyle, you know? I'm into all that sort of stuff, you know? So this is where our items go, at this point, you know? I get it, they don't have a destination, why even use an item elevator? I get it, okay, I get it. Problem is, I really want that item elevator. You know, it's an essential component of this room. It's this central column of items going upwards. Well, there's no items in there yet, but there's gonna be. Um, that I think it's a very essential component of my build here, this thing. I want something in the center of the room where all of the items go so that we can, can kind of see what's being produced at the time when we're standing here. And this thing should be just the right distance away from the upper levels to be active all the time. To be active when I'm like around there, over there, it should be active, because I'm far enough away. It should also be far enough away when I'm in the big room. Um, of course, it's far enough away when I'm on the upper levels, which are gonna connect over there. If I take a little bit more height distance to it, it's literally right under this room. You know, that's where it's situated. I'm gonna leave this open, just so that I can have a temporary entrance to my farm, you know? Now I've got to make sure that this thing even works. So, this is essentially the system. I've been talking out for too long. Um, I am going to block, I'm going to allow the spawns like this to happen. And I'm going to put a slab in the middle to prevent spiders, because I don't want spiders. I'm actually quite afraid of those. Especially, especially if they're twice as big as my head. Um, either Minecraft or real life, I don't care. I'm just scared of those, okay? Bring me a spider that's bigger than the size of my hand and I'm gonna... Oh, I don't even know what I'm gonna... 
Ah, probably I'm just gonna like run fast, far and wide. Okay, so this is quite dark. I like it. How is the light level here? Are we below seven? Four? Five? Six? Uh-huh. Come on, let me let me in here. Four, five, four. Okay. So all of these are spawnable. Well then I guess I'm gonna have to go AFK for a for a few hours. Trying to see if this thing works. Oh yeah, I forgot a very important component. Oh, look at me, I'm such a stupid idiot. How did I forget about the most important component that makes this a creeper-only farm? We've got a bunch of zombies up here, and I didn't think about making it work. Because I'm an idiot. I didn't think about the trapdoors at all. I need trapdoors. How did I not think about those? Alright. Um, in order to make them look a bit better, I'm not going to use birch trapdoors, even though I have quite a bunch of birch wood. I am probably going to be using spruce wood, just because of how it looks. Let me go grab a bunch of it, I say. Ah, this is good. This is good. Oh my god. <laughs> or do I have to... I don't even know how it's written. I don't even know how, how it's actually written. <laughs> but I like this one. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um, dies internally. Hell yeah. <laughs> and that's like a double joke. You know, you open it and you see the joke and you're dying internally because it's just so bad. <laughs> but then also internally inside of this thing, there's dies. Oh my god, look at me, I'm so funny. I have to address all of my jokes and explain them to my audience. Hell yeah! That is what I'm talking about. Okay, grow this tree. Grow this tree. I said you grow this tree. You little bastard, grow my... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do I need to use more? I only have a stack more left. Dies internally. <laughs> Good joke. I love it. Okay, but what is going on here? Is it, is it the grass that's driven? Oh my god, How? Why, why did I always forget about the fucking pods all? Why am I so stupid? Guys. Guys. <laughs> I did it again. I planted a massive spruce tree on my grass without actually thinking about the pods all. Ah, no. No need to replace it. Oh, no. Why? Why? No. <laughs> oh, but this is great. This is great. I love it. Um, the occasional horrible, horrible mistake. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Look at this little guy down there. He's completely helpless. Ah, yeah. You're struggling, huh? Now you've given in. Yeah. Yeah, and now we can see you take damage, and you're dead, and your gunpowder shoots up this thing. Alright, I've spent some more work around the place. Look at this cave. It's starting to come together. It's not green yet, because, well, I don't have enough mossy stone brick, and I'm gonna need a, a whole lot of it to, make all, to, to put it all over the place, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. I refined some more shapes here, got some more stuff going, I placed some end rods, I'm going to be taking down all of those torches eventually. And then the only visible light source that we're going to have is going to be the end rods. Um, yeah, this corridor here is something I prepared for the next episode because we're going to be building something else. But yeah, like this I want it to be, you know. Like there's no torches around and we have end rods. So that's essentially going to be the build style. I've placed in all the underside and a bunch of cobblestone. And I've also made a few glass walls here because we're going to be building behind there next episode. It's going to be good. Same thing, essentially, on the other side, just without the underside because I couldn't be bothered putting it in at this point. 
But I have read something that has blown my mind and I can't put it into this episode because then it would be too long. So I'm gonna have to end this episode. Let me, let me show you first. Let me show you. Uh, this took me a few hours and during this I was like loading our creeper farm a little bit, you know. As you can see, I have expanded the creeper farm by two platforms into each direction, which means that now it's more than twice as intense as it was before. There, There's one. Yeah. And wherever I walk around in this place, there's always a little bit of space for a creeper. Unless I'm like super close to this window. So that's great. Um, I've also given Feb his elytra and stuff, so we should be even at this point. Uh, let me just quickly check out how much gunpowder I have. Was this worth it? Hell yeah, totally worth it. This is gonna be more rockets than I'm ever gonna need already. Okay, oh my god. I'm just free rockets at this point. I just need the sugar cane and then I'm good, good to go. That's what we're gonna be doing next episode, right? Uh, please make sure, as always, if you like what you've seen, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It makes my day. I wanna get to the 100 subs, you know? I don't think that's too ambitious. Of someone of my grade of talent, uh... Don't take that the wrong way, though, right? But I think a hundred subs is fair. You know, twelve-year-olds get a hundred subs. What? What up? What up with you guys? But so, anyway, if you like what you see, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can, uh, you can uh, click the bell notification and all that kind of stuff, um, uh, and like my videos and and that kind of stuff, right? Anyways, I'm probably gonna see you guys next episode, right? So uh, I do this twice a week. So uh, I do this crap twice a week, so uh, if you want to see more, uh, subscribe to my channel, you know, you, you're getting it. I've, I've said it three times now, I'm going to say, say it again, but I subscribe to my channel, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to stop until you do it. Y you better go down there and you sub now, right? It's important. It's important. I want to get to 100 subscribers before YouTube dies, okay? And I can feel it in my bones. It's not gonna take too much longer before YouTube is dead. So we're running out of time. You need to get going, okay? So that's gonna be great. Right, anyway, my name is Mayhem, and I'm out, guys. See you guys in the next episode, right? Bye!